no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Jesus. Come on in, people of God. The signal thing is not given. But I will be patient tonight. The Lord bless you, each and every one. Come on in. Sister Nikki, I don't know the live keep on cutting. Oh my God. God bless you, everybody. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and bring you perfect peace. Good night, everybody. Come on, somebody, invite somebody, let somebody know that we're on. I bind the spirit of limitation, stronghold. I bind it in the name of Jesus Christ tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord bless you all. Come on, invite somebody, let somebody know that I'm on. It has been two weeks. I've not been live. And I, I had to come on today because there's a word for somebody. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. God bless you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. The Lord bless you. Good evening. I'm waiting on the others. Come on, somebody invite somebody. Let them know that we're on. God is ready to be praised. He's ready to be praised. God bless you, Pastor. Pastor Winsome. God bless you. How are you? Oh my God, there's a lot to catch up on, but I trust that you're you're doing well. Come on, somebody invite somebody tonight. God is ready to be praised. God is worthy. I think let me just fix the phone. It's probably not too late. Hi everyone. Because I'm happy. The Lord bless you, everybody. God bless you. Come on, invite somebody. Let somebody know that we're on. I'm not staying long. I'm not staying long. I'm not staying long. <clears throat> I'm drinking from my saucer. I know that on a Tuesday night, everybody is used to me in the space of preaching. But tonight, I want to reason with you all tonight. Come on, invite somebody. We're waiting on the others. For those who are on the live, I'm going to ask you to just hit the share button. And when you're typing, please to type unmerited grace. When you're typing, please to type unmerited grace. For those who are coming in, hit the share button. And when you're coming in, I'm going to ask you to just type unmerited grace. I know that most persons are used to me in my private, in, in, my, in my attire ministering. But I ask that you will forgive me tonight. Just for tonight. 
come on, we're waiting on the others. Just type unmerited grace. Come on, come on. Invite somebody on the live tonight. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <clears throat> We're gonna reason tonight. Hallelujah. Unmerited grace. Come on, somebody follow me. It's probably not too late. Sister Foster, God bless you. Cause I'm happy. As I go along this journey, I'm reaping better. So we're gonna. Holy Spirit, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God is worthy to be praised. The Lord bless you, each and every one. Unmerited grace. That's the word. Oh, my God. God bless you, Sister Thomas. Oh, my God, I miss you so much. Glad to see you again. Unmerited grace. Amen. I must apologize for the two weeks while I was out. I was on my father's business, but I have, I just got in from the air. I got in a couple minutes or a whole hour ago from the airport. I didn't have any time to just structure everything, so I choose to do it here in the car. And I ask that everybody please just to forgive my attire. I'm not used to preaching in these things, but I will try my best tonight to, to feel comfortable while doing it. Come on, just type that word, unmerited grace, unmerited grace. And while you type, please to share the live. Let somebody know that we are on tonight because it has been two weeks. We haven't had a live session, but we're going to pray before we do such. Most righteous God and eternal Father, the King, my God, my Lord, Adaba Zandoshai, Elo Siando Kasatai. Mighty God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, that you will give me the unction to function tonight. Father, God, I speak to my atmosphere. God, I speak to their atmosphere. We speak to the internet. We speak to the service. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, dear God, that you will apply your blood. Mighty God, we ask for your midst of intervention, God. I ask, Lord God, dear God, that you will use me, God, according to us how you see fit lord god decrease self and increase you god i pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth lord god that you will stir up the gift on the inside mighty god i pray father god that you will breathe afresh upon me in jesus name amen come on somebody just type unmerited grace oh god unmerited grace the lord bless you the lord the lord bless you the lord bless you you see me i forgot for a heart Yes, you must understand. <laughs> I didn't have any time to look for anything. But regarding to that, um, there's a word for somebody. There is indeed a word for somebody. You might be on this line tonight. According to the book of Luke chapter 5, the Bible was speaking about this man by the name of Peter and we have some Peter on this life we are reasoning tonight you're used to prophetess preaching but I'm speaking into somebody's spirit because sometimes we have to we have to slow down to speak so you can hear us clearly there was a man by the name of Peter Peter was a fisherman before he became a disciple of Christ. The Bible said that the Lord saw Peter washing his nets. And when the Lord saw Peter washing his net, the Bible said that the Lord went upon the ship. And when he saw everything, he said to Peter, prepare your net, we are going into the deep. We are going into a place 
where you have to be prepared. Adabaziah, God, take me there. I am willing to go there with you. We're going to a place where you have to be ready to receive. We're going to a place where you have to be ready. You have to be ready to take whatever is yours. Now the Bible said that the Lord said to Peter, let us go. The Bible said that Peter said, Lord, I have toiled all night. Come on, somebody type unmerited favor, unmerited grace. Just type that word. Just, 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 just declare that word in your atmosphere. Just speak it in your atmosphere. Just speak it in your atmosphere. If you're in the kitchen, speak it in the kitchen. If you're in your, if you're in your office today, speak it in your office. If you're at work, speak it at work. If you're in your bedroom, speak it in the bedroom. If you're in the bathroom, speak it in the bathroom. Unmerited grace. The Bible said that Peter said to the Lord, Father, I have toiled all night. Imagine toiling. Imagine praying. Imagine seeking God. Imagine fasting all night. Right through everything you have been fasting. The Bible said... That Peter said to the Lord, nevertheless, at thy word, at thy word, I will go. The Bible let me understand that Peter went upon the ship. They moved from the level where they were before. They moved from the shore and went into the deep. But let me say this, sometimes you have to cast your net on the next side. Sometimes you have to see the bigger fish on the other side. Zado bohoshai. Hili bakoshandarabaha. God give me the unction to function tonight. Sometimes you have to see the bigger fish on the other side. Unmerited grace. You don't deserve it, but the Lord gave it to you. You don't deserve it, but the Lord turned it around in your favor. All things work together for good to them who love the Lord. Unmerited grace. A grace that cannot be found. A grace that cannot be bought. A grace that can never be borrowed. Unmerited grace. And you might be at a place where you're seeking God for something. And you're not, you're not in the place where you're worthy to receive it. But the Lord shoo forth grace. May the grace of God be upon you. He said my grace is sufficient to keep you. May the unmerited grace locate you tonight. You are not worthy of the grace. You are not worthy of the blessing. You are not worthy of the blesser. You are not worthy to receive what God is doing. You are not worthy to stand in the position where God is taking you. You are just not worthy. Libakoshai. Hello, Mama Sandra Bazaya. But the Lord gave you unmerited grace. A grace that nobody cannot stand. A grace that nobody cannot take away. A grace that. Mm, hallelujah. A grace. Unmerited grace. A grace. God, you don't see me worthy, but God, you gave me something. That I can hold on to. Hallelujah. The Bible said. That the Lord said to Peter. Cast your net on the other side. Cast your net. Mommy. The shallow prayer now work. Mommy. The shallow prayer now work. Come on. Cast your net. Come on. 
The seven o'clock prayer now work every morning. Come on, cast your net on the next side. Get busy at 12, 12 o'clock. Get busy at three o'clock. Unmerited grace, let me tell you. You see, unmerited grace, it comes with great sacrifice. You see, unmerited grace, it comes with a... <laughs> ah, Jesus. You see, unmerited grace will cause people to wonder who God is. You are not deserving of the blessing, but God is going to shame your enemy. Unmerited grace. God is going to prove the doctors wrong. Unmerited grace. Unmerited grace. Lord, I ask that before this month ends, Lord, I ask you for unmerited grace. Come on, mommy. Come on. We're trusting God in this season. Not just to trust God in this season, but for God to take us to another level. We're not just trusting God in this season, but we're trusting God to give us unmerited grace. To favor us in places where we didn't expect favor to come from. Cast your net on the next side. I pray that the peace of the Lord abide with you. I couldn't leave you all hanging tonight. I had to release this word. May the unmerited grace locate you. May the unmerited grace find you. You're locked, you're locked up in a place. You're not well deserving of the blessing. There's a part two to this. I can't preach this. I, I can't preach it the way I want to. I really can't preach this the way I want to. But I'm going to do. I'm going to try my best to do so tonight. I feel like I want to run. I feel like I want to jump. I feel like I want to skip. You're not worthy. You're not worthy. You're counted out. You're not worthy of the blessing. But the Lord bless you with unmerited grace. A place to receive. A place to receive. Ah. Jesus. The Bible says when, when Peter cast his net on the next side. There was more than enough fish. I pray in this season that as you cast your net, Kashanda, hello, Rabakoshai. I pray in this season that as you cast your net, hello, Messiah, Jesus, thank you for this word. I pray in this season that as you cast your net, come on, somebody type that word and Mary tell it. Unmerited grace, that as you cast your net, you will, ne you will not catch a shark. You will not catch a wheel. But you will catch many. Unmerited grace. Unmerited grace. You're not deserving of it. Haraba Zandoshai. You're not worthy of it. But God's grace is willing to keep you. It is sufficient to keep you. God's grace is sufficient to keep you in all his ways, in all your doings. Trust God and live, mommy. Wipe the tears from your face. Ah, God. Trust God and live. Wipe the tears from your face. Despite the doing of the enemy. 
Trust God and live. His grace is sufficient to keep you. Unmerited grace. A grace that you didn't ask for. A grace that you didn't pray for. A grace that is keeping you that you didn't even think that would be keeping you. Unmerited grace. Favor in all angles. Lord, double my grace, Jesus. Father, I pray for unmerited grace. Mighty God, grace me in places that I need to be graced. Unmerited grace. You don't ask for the grace. The grace was given. The grace was given. You didn't pray for the grace. Listen, when the thorn was in what was in Paul's flesh, and Paul went to God about it, the Bible said that the Lord said to Paul, My grace is sufficient. Don't roll her over and die. Don't turn your back on God. Don't. Do not. Do not. Do not turn your back on God. Do not roll over and die. Unmerited grace is on the wheel. Kasha Tarabaziah. Unmerited grace is on the wheel. A grace that you didn't pray for. A grace that you didn't make a A grace that you didn't see coming. Libako Shandarabaziah. A long time you were supposed to get the promotion. And you're wondering why you're still in the same position. You're wondering why you're still lingering in the same place. In the same, at the same level. God grace is sufficient to keep you. He's going to keep you. Through it all you learn to trust in God. Through it all you learn to trust in Jesus. You might be lingering at a particular place. You might be lingering at a particular level in your life. But let me say this to you. Don't roll over and die. Don't give up on God. Don't walk out on God. Don't close the door on God. God's word is here and amen. Don't give in. Don't give up. Hold on to Jesus. Hold on to his unchanging hand. Hallelujah. Don't close the door in God's face. No. Mm -mm. The grace was given. You didn't pray for it. Ha Shanda Baha. Hello. Riboko Shataya. The grace was given. You didn't pray for it. Receive that grace. Mandi Osai. Libo Shikatarabazayarabazundia. The grace was given. You didn't pray for it. You didn't pray for the grace. Unmerited grace. And God is sending grace. God is sending unmerited grace. A grace that you didn't pray for. A grace that you're not worth. You're not worthy. You're never worthy for the grace. You're not, you're, you're not worthy of the grace. And that's why he said my grace. Paul could nobody cannot the grace that god gives nobody cannot give that grace and god is sending unmerited grace a grace that you never see coming a grace that you don't even think of don't walk out on god and i'm speaking to your spirit you don't close the door on god don't shut the door in god's face don't walk out on God. His word is yea and amen. Stand, stand in the midst of the grace. I'm speaking to you. Oftentimes you close the door on God because things does not work out in your favor. Or things does not work out on your timing. But that doesn't give you the right to close. To close the door in God's face. Unmerited grace. Is a grace that you didn't pray for. It is freely given. It is freely given. Don't shut the door in God's face. Don't close the door in God's face. Mm -mm. Wipe your tears. 
wipe the tears from your eyes wipe them wipe every single tears wipe every single one of them wipe it wipe them wipe them the grace that is coming you didn't pray for it you didn't pray for it and be ready to receive whatever god is coming with jesus you're not worthy to receive it but the lord show forth mercy lord bless me with unmerited grace unmerited grace a grace that i didn't pray for i said i wasn't gonna stay long because i jump on around 650 something but let me say this to you walk in the unmerited that's the word we're gonna preach on next week i can't preach this message the way i want it tonight but unmerited lord let me walk in my unmerited favor let me walk in my unmerited grace a grace that i didn't pray for a grace that i have labored all those nights you you, you set up praying all or all those time you, you set up fasting seeking god asking god for answers asking god to make a move lord let me walk in my unmerited lord look beyond my faults and see my needs see my supplication see what i am in need of unmerited grace unmerited unmerited it's about to turn around for me it's about it's about to turn god is about to do a 360 turn a 360 man the old side a 360 turn in somebody's life a 360 turn around a 360 turn around unmerited unmerited come on mommy get up you're in your house get up and turn get up and turn turn in your blessing hello mercy and oh shy come on mommy get up and turn in your blessing turn 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 that's an unmerited grace unmerited unmerited that you didn't pray for something you didn't see coming and something that you're not worthy to receive but the Lord showed for mercy, his kindness. Come on, mommy, get up and turn. 360 turn. The Lord shall do it. The Lord shall work it out on your behalf. The Lord shall, the Lord, the Lord shall surprise you in this season. And that's the word that I'm working with. Unmerited, but unmerited. Unmerited, unmerited. God is good. God is good. He's ready to be praised. No, I'm not staying long, but <clears throat> come next week. Get somebody on the line next week. Next week, you cannot afford to miss it. You cannot afford to miss live next week. I know that the live has not been kept for the last two weeks. I apologize about that. But regarding to next week, you cannot afford to miss it. But while you continue this week walk with this word unmerited god is sending people to your location unmerited grace a grace that you didn't pray for a grace that you didn't see coming a grace that you're not worthy to receive a grace that's just god that's just god right there god that that A grace that you never pray for. I speak in your life tonight. As you turn that you will turn into unmerited grace. In Jesus name. So people of God. I love you. Let me, let me, let me put up this. That so y'all can see my face. <laughs> I love you all. With the love of God. And the reason why I turned this live on tonight. It's because I've felt some type of way for the last two weeks. 
that no service has been being kept and me can't leave with no hanging because I said like I said I tried my best to come home um as early as possible but by the time me for me supposed to set up and all of that it will take so much time so I said all right let me just do the live in the car let somebody run with this word and this is the word that we're working with unmerited walk in your unmerited Lord align me in my unmerited Lord position me in my unmerited lord set me in my unmerited grace god allow me to stand in it listen you cannot afford to miss next week next week tuesday we will definitely definitely be on live jumping dancing and giving the lord thanks because the lord is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask or think according to the power that is vested in us god is worthy to be praised and he is worthy to be thanked in all his ways and trust me i cannot complain however people of god i will definitely let me give you let me give you let me give you the wrong phone in the pan, but i'm gonna try my best to, to to locate it so persons that are in canada persons that are in canada Persons that are in Canada, please to listen up. Y'all are listening. Y'all are listening. I hope everybody listening. <clears throat> Those who are in Canada, Ontario, Canada, Toronto, Canada, all those places. We are going to support Pastor Wiki, right? So, I'm going to ask those who live in Canada, please to go over there support the man of god you cannot afford to miss the encounter that the lord is bringing to canada i think it's his first revival in canada and trust me people of god it was a blessing in the conference but this one you cannot afford to miss it i will not be there but one shall chase a thousand and two shall put ten thousand to flight so people of god those who are in canada please go over there and be a blessing the address of the um i will post it it's on my platform you can go over there i am going on saturday yes that's it yes canada let me see the canada the canadians them come on let me see let me see the canadians let me see the canadian flag so people of god i want you all to go over there and i want you to support the man of god it is 1179 french avenue west unit 5 toronto so please to go over there please uh, yes charming mentor all right woman of god love you for that yes i am going please canada i i live all right so you all go over there be a blessing and support the man of god one shall chase a thousand and two shall put ten thousand to flight so people of god the, the revival the revival will be july 12 and 13 which is I think it's saturday and sunday i think yes the 12th and the 13th of july i am going on both all right all right so man of god please to go over there be a blessing be a blessing be a blessing be a blessing so people of god we are going um to support the man of god the flyer is on the platform for those who live in canada you can go over there i'm in the uk <laughs> Well, if you're not too late, you can book the flight. <laughs> I live in Ottawa. I love to go. All right, woman of God, if you live there, you you can definitely go on my platform and you will see the information there of the revival. So the revival is this Saturday. It starts this Saturday. It starts this Saturday night at 7 p.m. The address is there. Friday and Saturday. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. So it start this Friday and Saturday. I'll be the all right. This is what I love. One shall chase a thousand, two shall put ten thousand to flight. So people of God, not because it's not prophetess, and not because prophetess is not going to be there. Once you're saying God, I will push you to. I will push you to the the peak. That's who I am. I'm in Canada, Canada, but I am far away. All right, okay, no problem. I'll definitely. I want you to tune in on it on live. So, people of God, Friday and Saturday. So it will be Friday and Saturday. This Friday and Saturday, in 
in French Avenue, West Unit 5, Toronto. So people of God, go over there, support the man of God. Those who live near far, who can go on ship, who can go through parachute, find an area. It is a conference. It hear me about conference. It's a revival encounter that you cannot, cannot miss. The theme is, he will do it for you so people of god if you want god do it for you you need to be there 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 i wish i could be there friday but i have work all right be there on saturday be there on saturday so people are going to go over there support the man of god those who are in Canada, I want to invite, if on the wall, also all, I want to invite on the wall, on the, all on the, every on the family, and go on. Because at the end of the day, we're building the kingdom of God. So the Lord bless you all. Saturday is a must, all right, to man of God. So at the end of the day, people of God, remember you cannot afford, post the link for those to watch online. All right, it will be on his platform. You can find him on Facebook at the page is the page name is funny but um you can find him on on facebook as the running prophet or pa or a wiki right just you can just type it in but his name is is okay okay we are going to be the all right to man of god i'll share the live so persons can can watch it so you can you can get a you can get a you can watch the live When is Brooklyn? The Lord will speak. <laughs> I can't speak. <laughs> the Lord will speak. I am going the two nights. Okay, woman of God. Post the link on your page. Okay, I will definitely do so so persons can watch. And also be a blessing. Yes, thanks. We'll definitely watch it. Yes, let me pin it here. Thank you, Jesus. That's how I love you, you know. I love you guys. Trust me. Mm, well, uh, let me try to pin this. So, okay. So, his name is pinned to the bottom of the screen. His name is pinned to the bottom of the screen. So, that is that is that is his ministry page. You can find his ministry page there. So, you just type in his name. For those who live in Canada, invite a family, invite a friend, and go there and support the man of god all right the lord bless you remember next week tuesday remember the word that we're working with is unmerited unmerited also our back to school drive is coming up people of god we're back to school drive we're back to school drive is coming up and for those who live in a kingston you can't miss this car one highway bus i don't know how much for the fear but it's on the main of Old Arba. So we're giving away 400 school bags. The food will be for $1,200. Bounce about, merry go on, everything is on the house. But the food and refreshment will be on sale. But people are God. We're giving away 400 school bags. And if you know a child that is going to be in need of school bag, find your way there. Find your way there. Are you coming on Thursday morning? Yes, I am coming on Thursday morning. Thank you so much, Sister Thomas. So, persons that are on live, please, um, to keep your, your alarms for 5 o'clock this Thursday, I will definitely be live. So, see you then. Love you all with the love of God. We talk soon. Talk soon, people of God. I am tired. I didn't get a chance to sleep. And I'm heading into Kingston now. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I honestly I don't know what wrong with the internet service and the the this the the, the call service here, but it just not work out. <laughs> you have to go outside to see if you can get some forget um so it is six o'clock Jamaica time. May I talk to you? Yeah, six o'clock um America time and five o'clock Jamaica time. Five o'clock Jamaica time, six a six a.m. Six a.m. Jamaica six a.m. Six a.m. Jamaica time and five a.m. America time. I think they're one hour it was. Yeah. 
So it's 5 a.m. Jamaica time. 5 a.m. our time here. God bless you. 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 I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. 11 a.m. UAK time. So it's it's the right time for. So persons that wants to donate for the back to school drive, you can reach out to me. I am here. I'm going to get the ministry phone um charged so I can see the messages that come in loud. But um, I love you all. See you all on Thursday morning, 5 a.m. Jamaica time and 6 a.m. America time. The star messed it up. I realized, but I demand it to stand still. Thank you so much. So see you all. Invite somebody to prayer meeting. We're gonna be live. Live. Y'all, you have to know how to pray in this season. You can't just get up and sin and know how to pray. So people of God, our back to school drive is the twenty fourth of next month. The flyer is pinned to the to the profile of my page for those who want to be a blessing please to reach out to me god bless you i love you all with the love of god shalom